I am Ram Krishna Reddy. I would like to give a lecture on rank of a matrix. What is a matrix basically? A matrix is a mere arrangement of elements. Elements can be numbers, functions, or whatever. What does a rank gives basically? Rank gives the maximal number of linearly independent vectors consisting in a matrix. Suppose A is a general matrix, a n by n matrix, then A consists of n columns, we call them as column vectors. Then rank of this matrix A gives the maximum number of linearly independent vectors in this matrix. Suppose the rank of a matrix is 2. Suppose it's a 4 by 5 matrix, then the rank of a matrix is 2. Then there are two linearly independent vectors in this matrix. Suppose if a matrix is a 0 matrix, then rank of A is also 0. For the sake of brevity, we write the rank of a matrix by R of A. And A need not be a square matrix. It can be a, another, a can be a general matrix. Still, we can find the rank of a matrix. Suppose A is a two by two matrix. Say so to start with, we start with a square matrix. Suppose if the determinant of A is not equal to zero, then we say rank of A equal to two, meaning there will be two linearly independent vectors. Suppose if determinant is zero. Suppose there is one non-zero element in it, then the rank of A equal to 1, meaning there is one linearly independent vector in this matrix. Suppose if A is a zero matrix, of course the rank of A will be zero. Now the issue is, given a general matrix, a M by N matrix, how do we compute the rank of a matrix? Suppose A is a general matrix, say M by N matrix. These are the various methods through which we compute the rank of a matrix. 1 by Gauss elimination, 2 by determinants, 3 by minus, 4 by normal form. By Gauss elimination methods, what we mean is we perform a sequence of elementary operations, especially row operations, and reduce the matrix A to its echelon form, palatine numbers in echelon form. Then the rank is the number of pivots or leading coefficients in the echelon form. Then number of pivot columns are linearly dependent. Then the number of pivot columns will give you the rank of a matrix. And note that it's not necessary to reduce to echelon form or a reduced echelon form or any echelon form will work out here. With all the pivots which matters, count just count the possible number of pivots, then uh, in general, if A is a M by N matrix, then rank of A will be less than or equal to minimum of M comma N. For example, you take a matrix A. A is a 3 by 4 matrix. Then we perform a sequence of uh, elementary row operations. Then we reduce it to H1 form. Then you can see these are the pivots. The first three columns are, there are three pivots, so we say the rank of A equal to 3, then the first three columns are linearly independent. Now, how do you compute the rank through a determinants? Let A be a general M by N matrix. We take a minor of order K, then we calculate the determinant of that minor K by K sub matrix of A. Suppose if the determinant is not equal to 0 and the minor is of order k by k, then we say, is not, suppose the determinant is not equal to 0, then we say that the rank of A is k. Suppose the determinant is equal to 0, then we say that the rank of A will be less than or equal to k. Then we go for a lower order minus, evaluate the determinants and so on. So, so basically, the valuation of rank depends upon the evaluation of the determinants of the minus. Yeah, you have seen, for example, you take the A in the earlier side. 
slide. We obtain the determinants. We start with uh, the maximum minor we can get there. We start is a three by three. We start with a three by three. Now we evaluate its determinant. Now we see that the determinant of a is equal to minus four, which is not equal to zero. So we say that uh, the rank of a matrix A is three. If a minor of order k is non-zero, then the corresponding columns are linearly independent. So the game plan is, we start with a minor of maximal order k. There is one that is non-zero we determine the rank of a equal to k. If all the maximum minors, maximal minors are zero, then rank of a is less than k. And we continue like that with the minors of order k minus one and so on until we arrive at a juncture where we find a minor that is non zero. If all the minors of order are zero, then of course the rank of a will be zero. For example, you take this uh, three by four matrix. The maximal minor we can have is of order three by three and we found that uh, there will be four such and we pick one and uh, if you delete the last column then the first three by three sub matrix we calculate the determinant of that minor and uh, we have just seen it's a uh, determinant is minus four which is not equal to zero so the rank of a is equal to three now we take this matrix <clears throat> now this being a three by four matrix there will be four three by three minus we evaluate all the determinants suppose all of them are zero now i think here all the all of them are zero so the rank is not equal to three then we go for a two by two and uh, we find one such a two by two minor whose determinant is minus 13 which is not equal to zero so the rank of the matrix here in this case equal to two, meaning there are two linearly independent vectors. Normal form. We know that a matrix A is said to be normal if A A conjugate transpose equal to A conjugate transpose into A. For example, uh, we take this matrix, uh, which is a, a, a four by four matrix. We reduce it to echelon form through a sequence of elementary row operations. And uh, this is how they reduce. And you look, finally, it reduced to its normal form, which consists of just one and ones and zeros. <clears throat> and we see that the uh, rank of a matrix here is a two, because the identity matrix we find here is of order. Two by two, so the rank of A equal to two. Right. Thank you.